Oh, that was so fucking good. So everybody wants to make smash burgers, and everyone thinks they need this fancy ass griddle, and you don't, because you just need one of these thirty dollar cast iron things, and uh, if it's gonna fly off the end of your stove, you just get yourself a, you know, that steak weight that you never use, and uh, a couple of blocks. Yeah, boom, it ain't going nowhere. The only thing you need is this flat turner. That's it. That's it. That's all I need. To toast or not to toast, I say, I say toast. They don't have to be super toasted. You just want to get them a little bit toasted, and that will in turn get them nice and warm. It helps to keep your your buns nearby because you're going to be assembling these pretty quickly. They only take about a minute to cook. I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I was here. Uh, Gloria, 100% D agave. Margarita. It's very mango -y. Wine. Wine? Yeah, would you believe that? It's gluten free. Ooh. Oh, it's a wine cocktail with bubbles. You wanna taste? We're ready to go, aren't we? Yes. We got we got two kids and two of us are gonna have double burgers here. So we need to we got enough space to do four at a time. But we'll suck up all the heat. So we're not gonna do four at a time. We're gonna do two at a time. We're gonna do one right here, one right there. And by the way, my heat's on medium. I'll turn it up to six. I'll turn this uh, joke of a fan on just to make myself feel better that I'm not smoking up the house. Smash! Smash. And uh, smash the sides. Move on to the next one. Hold it for about five seconds. Flatten the sides. That's it. Don't let this get too hot. Don't let it sit on the thing because you'll cook the burger and it'll stick. And you'll be fucked. Next. Of course, you're going to need salt and pepper. As if there's any question. So. And uh, pepper, I just buy this number 32 brown black pepper because it's the bomb. Look at it, it's just so easy. And it's the perfect size. Notice, it's almost cooked already. Hot shit, I better get the cheese. So now, this is why this thing is here too. You gotta scrape them off. Because they're sticking. That's why you use the sticky surface. You want it to stick. Because look, bam, that right there, oh my God. That's the whole reason. That's the whole reason why you eat smash burgers. Am I right? I'm right. So we put our cheese on the top. And uh, We'll take two bottoms, okay? Count to 30. But it's already been 30 seconds, so guess what? It's done. All right, set them off to the side. Two down, next. That's it. So. Pepper. Give it about 30 seconds. Uh, just as the pink is almost cooked away, that should be just right. So right, you got your bun, cheese, burger, cheese, burger. Then condiments, okay? You don't want to put condiments on top of cheese. It'll slap all over the freaking place. There it up. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Or you can put your cheese right on the patty again because you've got your bottoms right. You just put them upside down like that. Keeping everything nice and warm as we go through. Again, count, count the thirty or so. Scrape them up, turn them upside down. Oh yeah, that's magical. Yeah. And keep going. I suppose it can be fried down. It's fry time, holy shit, look at that. Spicy ketchup. We're gonna have some mayo. So put a little bit of mayo on the bottom. See their toppings. Or bottomings. Who's that? Yeah, these are actually the bottoms. Now, if uh, the griddle's getting too hot, just dial the heat back a little bit. And at this point, if you've cooked six patties like I have, you gotta scrape it up a little bit. Good. I'm trying to heat off and these are done, man. Do I need to tell you how to put stuff on top of your burger? I hope not. Let's take this. And yeah. Alright. Like I said, cheese on the bottom. That way your uh, toppings can go right on top of the burger. You can put your onions and your tomatoes on there. Tandy, peace.